morning, Cole. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you, sir? I'm doing okay. Good. Nice and uh, warm here in New York City, so I'm doing good. <laughs> Thanks for playing. There you go. <laughs> so one of my first questions is, can you tell us about the current NASCAR season? Uh, yeah, so this year has been... Uh, definitely a little bit different, you know, coming over to start with a new team. I'm over here with Front Row Motorsports and, um, you know, picking up kind of where we left off last year. But uh, at the same time, you know, you're working with a new crew, uh, new guys and kind of everything there. So um, there's a lot to be kind of addressed and going on and kind of get our feet under us a little bit more, I guess you could say. And um, But having Speed Stick back involved with us is, is awesome and a great opportunity. And uh, just kind of look forward to being maybe a little more consistent this year, you know. we. We want to be that solid top 25 team, and um, you know, so far we've done that opportunity. We've done that pretty well at times, and then sometimes we haven't. <clears throat> so you know, we're just trying to kind of get a little more consistent and hang into uh, top 25s a little bit better. What are your thoughts on the NASCAR Spring Cup Series, the upcoming Talladega race, your new car and crew? Yeah, so having a new car, a new crew, um, going to Talladega, I'm pretty excited. You know, we got a great opportunity to have a really good finish. Um, you know, and have a great points day. So, you know, the, the super speedways are just kind of some really good uh, equalizers for our series. You know, it's uh, where everyone can be right there in the middle of the draft, and uh, it's, it's a little bit tough, but uh, at the same time, you know, it's a great opportunity for our team to kind of shine. Um, it's definitely a race that we kind of circle on the calendar and uh, definitely put a little bit of extra emphasis on. So this is a question I've always wondered. You know, I know race car drivers. Um, but how do you stay in shape? I uh, know that's like a, it has to be a big part. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I, I take my fitness very seriously, and um, you know, there's uh, I basically just kind of try not to specialize in any kind of certain thing. You know, whether it be cardio, strength, or just lifting. Um, you know, so I, I try to involve everything. I do a lot of CrossFit type training. Um, you know, just kind of uh, keep it just always different and always kind of variably changing, and not letting my body really adapt to one thing and. Um, just kind of more or less, I always try to simulate that same kind of thing that I have when I race, you know, which is basically a really uncomfortable situation a lot. You know, being in a race car for, you know, four hours and 120 degrees, it just kind of gets really uncomfortable at times. So um, to be able to uh, try to simulate that basically in my type of training is just all I really look for. So just kind of a, a hard, you know, tough, long workout, something that's just really uncomfortable where, you know, my mind kind of gets in that same mindset of uh, something that, maybe where it doesn't really want to be and kind of sit in that kind of area, you know? Well, that's a really long time to be in a car, especially at that type of temperature, but I have to say you make it look easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's easier than others. <laughs> what are your thoughts for a top 25 finish in, Tag in Talladega and your aspirations for this season? Yeah, you know, I think Talladega for sure we can, we can obtain that top 25. I think being top 25 week in and week out, is uh, you know an opportunity that we can do this year. There's you know we've been able to accomplish that sometimes this year, and um, you know I think we're going to be able to accomplish that more throughout the season. Um, you know there's some runs where we were definitely top 25, and uh, just kind of let those races slip away from us. So you know we just need to uh, get a little more consistent, get our feet under us a little bit better, and uh, just kind of accomplish those a little bit better. And I think we can be a top 25 car kind of week in and week out. That's definitely our goal. So my last question is. What is the men's speed stick divided down to sweepstakes? Yeah, so speed stick's doing an uh, awesome uh, sweepstakes this year. And um, people can go to uh, speed stick's Twitter handle and follow them, and then go to uh, my Colwitt uh, Twitter handle and uh, follow me as well. And then uh, just kind of post any moment about them defying the doubt, defy the doubt. And kind of, you know, defying the doubt is kind of, it's kind of cool because it's the same thing that I go through. You know, there's been times where, you know, there's a lot of doubt that ri uh, rises in, uh, you know, something like our sport where, you know, uh, performing at, at these high levels is definitely high pressure and high intense situations. So um, kind of any time a fan is going through, you know, a defy the, devo defy the doubt moment with, uh, you know, whether it be work or home or, or just, uh, you know, a hobby that they enjoy. So they can post those, uh, use the hashtag uh, speed stick sweeps and uh, Speed Stick is going to pick a winner to come down and, and enjoy a race with us and be right in the middle of the pit crew and, and right in the middle of the pits and kind of have a radio and, and kind of see our whole race weekend. That sounds like such a great opportunity for somebody. Yeah, it's, it's um, going to be really cool. But Cole, I really want to thank you. It's always a pleasure speaking with you. And from here at the Green Light, we wish you nothing but continued success. 
Awesome. I appreciate it. It's good talking to you. Take care.